it's, it's a, it's a <laughs> one that Landa, when he attacks and he's been marked out, you know, he just knocks off his effort very, very quickly. He never continues on, you know, setting that real strong pace for a long period. Well, I mean, Land, uh, Landa on the blower, uh, speaking to Poles, um, uh, what, is it, what on earth could he be asking him for? He tried to get back in, can't offer him anything, I'm afraid. Well, maybe it looks like he might have said, no, no, just come away from the front, let Jumbo Visma set the pace, and uh, maybe he'll have one more go on the, yeah. the steeper section that takes them towards the finish line. He, he made his effort, which was reacted to by Juan Ayuso, on a steep piece, but then it flattened off, and it was a lot easier for Ayuso to keep pace. So as the road kicks up again, maybe we'll get another effort come from Mikel Landa. He's got to find 16 seconds to overtake Ayuso on GC. Uh, behind Landa by 14 seconds on the classification is Enric Maas, who's just been sitting in the shadows, just watching the moves happen. And now Remco Evenepoel is able to just kick in the clutch and cruise towards the finish line for yet another stage win. And now this is something we haven't seen yet. Jonas Vinegard just riding on the front like Sepp Kuss. Yep. Like Sepp Kuss usually does. Well, we said a scenario would be great for the uh, for the press, which was a, t a, a, a super domestic uh, drive to get Sepkus to the line. And it appears, at least for the moment, Sean, that that's what we're going to have with uh, Vingegaard and Roglic riding in front of Sepkus and then presumably just uh, allowing him to the line and indeed virtually secure this red jersey. Oh, what a beautiful picture. You know, the two men leading, lead, leading him <laughs> up here and you know this must be a, a great moment for Seb Kuss yes. to have these two riders you know taking up the climb I know we talked about Seb maybe his character you know not strong enough to uh, ask you know for the uh, support of the team and more so of these two guys now he's getting it and yeah when you get it as well I think emotionally it's you know a difficult one for Kuss here you know to keep that back until they get into the finish and Landa here just pushing on, but we can see uh, Vingo just continuing on to set the pace. So, yeah, this is what we were talking about, and this is what we're getting from Jumbo Visma at the moment, looking after Seb. Indeed, the two main rivals, I think you might say, within that team, Vingo and Roglic, just uh, uh, neutralizing each other in the service of Sepkus, and that was what we suspected might happen today and it is what we are seeing upon our screen and chapeau to them um, i think they've realized that the bad publicity sometimes is um is worse than no publicity at all uh all hell broke loose yesterday sep kuss is um is quite a straight-laced guy a very gentle character but i imagine there will be tears when he crosses the line today um, not only because of what indeed he's achieved, but also that his teammates have indeed fallen in, into his service. Here is uh, Lander pushing on, and uh, Remco Evenepoel uh, still to cross the line. I hope he hasn't, and it's been missed, because that would then be uh, just a, 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 a... Well, it wouldn't surprise me, quite frankly, this year. He could have his own Walt Pools moment in the Tour de France and the, the Mont Blanc, remember? where we saw 10 metres of his victory. <laughs> while they were focused on the GC <laughs> battle behind. I don't know. Well, there's top Spaniard battle going on here, Sean. Maybe that's what's concerning the director. Yes, I sir. actually don't know whether even Apollo's has finished and I haven't seen it. Well, we can see there Landa and Ayuso just looking around and they can see the two men that are just uh, continuing oh, on goodness. to tap a pace out in front. Uh, it must be your really morale breaking <laughs> because uh, <laughs> they're not managed to get any advantage at all here, as we can see Remco just coming to uh, finish and win this one comfortably. He thumbs the radio. He says thank you to his team. He says thank you to all of you as well, I am sure. Uh, many have cheered him on. He's had his detractors, of course, and many wrote him off. But my goodness, if the day on the Tourmalet was a low point ever since then, it has been onwards and upwards for this man. He's got the King of the Mound, his jersey. That belongs to him. A place in our hearts as well. He starts to smile. He started in Barcelona in the rain with a great deal of anger, finishing the time trial in the dark. Well, he's finished this particular mission for the day, spectacularly so. Needed to get into the break. Wanted a polka dot jersey. Wanted another stage win. It's all in the mind, he says. And mind games he's been playing, perhaps with everybody. He's the mastermind.
of his own destiny, it seems. Fantastic. And he gives us all a love heart to take home with us as well.